down. It's the safety that we find in true connection with others that helps us manage, and more quickly, I might add, calm the stress response. I know people keep telling us not to see our friends or interact with people, but we can still find ways to connect with others. Maybe it's just close family that we already live with who we know aren't ill, or perhaps it's online through Skype, Google Hangouts, chats, etc. By doing that, we will stop feeling so hypervigilant and begin to feel much more calm. When it comes to education, we are not a collection of states competing against one another. We're a single nation competing against the world. Nothing will determine our success as a nation in the 21st century more than how well we educate our kids. My second tip is to take action where you can. If cleaning your house, buying a mask, and using hand sanitizer more helps you feel more empowered and calm, go for it. Like I shared earlier, it's the inaction that's keeping us stuck in this heightened emotional state. The world is a very complicated place, but not for long, because this segment is called Nice. All of which can make a difference in your everyday life. The bottom line is competition is good for consumers, workers, businesses, and our economy. So I'm gonna keep doing everything I can to make sure that our free market works for everyone. Thanks, and have a great week. You know, I think we're in a moment of history where probably the most important thing we need to do is to bring the country together. Uh, and one of the skills that I bring to bear Hi, everybody. For decades, too many working Americans went without the security of health insurance, and their financial well being suffered because of it. We've begun to change that. As the Affordable Care Act has taken effect, we've covered 17.6 million Americans. Since 2010, the uninsured rate has decreased by 45%. And for the first time, more than 90% of Americans are covered. If you haven't gotten covered yet, or if you care about someone who hasn't gotten covered yet, now's your chance. It's open enrollment season for the health insurance marketplace. If you can, save any big decisions you need to make for when your system is more calm and balanced. And the fifth and final tip that I want to offer is to take time each day to let your body come down. To demand that Washington treat education reform as the dedicated progress of decades. Something a town with a short attention span doesn't always do very well. But I'm confident we can do this.